imagine for a moment that you just receive a call from an organizer and they say oh we are so excited to invite you as a keynote speaker for our next event how much time you want to spend on the stage how, how long your talk will be i remember i receiving the same call and i said uh, give me around 15 minutes or max to max 45 not more than that and the person said come on sir you're coming from so long we want you to speak for two hours come on listen very carefully i said if i can't make my point in one hour in 45 minutes i can't make in two hours also it's not about how long speakers can speak speakers can speak maybe for two hours three hours four hours but we stand there for the audience. Audience cannot listen to any speaker for four to five hours, or maybe for two hours. It's difficult, unless you use some techniques. But the world is moving towards short presentation, short speeches. Tick TEDx, initially they started with 18 minutes. Now slowly they are thinking, I've heard from some people who are working in TEDx that slowly they are moving towards 15 minutes officially. But I remember I speaking at my last TEDx, the organizer said very clearly, 10 minutes, not more than that. Now there's a science behind it. I remember I was reading one article in inc.com and the, the, the title of the article was uh, the people who are from Apple, when they present on the stage, they speak around 10 minutes and this is backed by neuroscience. Neuroscientists said that we have an automatic stopwatch somewhere in our brain which gets stopped automatically around 10 minutes. Even if you see online courses, most of the online courses they are, if you see the module, take Udemy, Teachable, many of the courses which are good, running courses, the each module is around 8 to 10 minutes, even sometimes 6 to 7 minutes. It has to be short, sweet. I remember a line someone said that, uh, I'm writing you a long letter because I don't have time to write a short letter. Yes, writing short is difficult. Same with speaking. Speaking short, concise, precise is difficult. Now, I'm not saying that every time when we go on the stage we speak only for 10 minutes. We have to find ways of making things interesting and break the monotony of your talk. Uh, after 10 to 15 minutes example what I do I can share what I do in my speeches if I have one hour I do three stories and I, re I do real life stories and the length of each story is, is around 10 to 12 minutes not more than that after each story we do some activities uh, I'm not saying activities where I make people uh, stand and clap uh, which is not a part of my story or speech or presentation that activity has to be connected, should complement the previous story or the coming story. So after every 10 to 12 minutes, we have some kind of activities. And then I make a conscious effort that the next story is completely different than the different story than the previous story. Example, if my first story is a real life personal story, my next story may be real life observed story. But I am not at all in the story, this is a completely different story. But what I'm doing here is I'm changing the entire thing. After 10 to 12 minutes, I'm completely changing. It's just like a new speaker coming on the stage. So if I do three stories, I might take 40, 45 minutes doing all this. So it's like three speakers coming on the stage in, ne in that one hour. Now, it's very important to understand this because uh, Unfortunately, I have seen that when people speak for one hour, they speak with the same tone, same story, same concept. Even if you take movies, just imagine for a moment that you have the movie of your most favorite actor and the camera is only on that actor for entire next two hours. Will you like it? Same. Stage is like that. So my tip to you is this. If you're speaking for one hour, try to break or try to do something absolutely different after every 10 to 15 minutes. This will help you to engage the audience, re-engage the audience and keep them engaged for at least one hour. Hope you like this tip. This is Pranamadalka signing out. Until we meet again with a new tip.